Today, I'm going to build the fastest team in FIFA and attempt to win a game without the sprint button. But Paz, why wouldn't you use the sprint button with the fastest team? It's because I'm not a pace merchant and life isn't fair. Now, there's two obvious choices when we think of the fastest players in the world. We have Kylian Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. And because it is La Liga team of the season, I think it's only appropriate that we make our captain Vinicius Jr. So let's go buy him. There's no way he's a million more coins than team of the year Mbappe. Now I got an earful from my accountant before I started this video about how I shouldn't spend 4.9 million coins on a card, but it has to be done. 4.8 mil. Let's go. We got it. All right. We got it for a little bit of a discount. I think my account is going to be happy with that. Let's go build the rest of this team. All right. Just because Vinny is our captain, that doesn't mean we're actually not going to have Mbappe into this team because what kind of pace merchant team would this be if I didn't include him? However, with Mbappe, we have to be a little more strategic because we don't have an infinite amount of coins. We only have 4 million to build the rest of this team. I know it's a lot, but trust me, it's going to go out like this. So I'm thinking we grab his second inform only because it is 99 pace. It is super fast and we're not spending our entire budget on one card. I always get so nervous when I'm buying a player like this because his first inform is the same position. So people try to trick you into buying the wrong card. But luckily I've done my due diligence and we're going to get the right one. So 1.275, get into my team. Boom. Now the next player in this team is not going to be my choice. It's going to be EA's choice. So I'm submitting an icon swaps token for this 82 times 25 pack. I thought I had more tokens, but this is the best thing we can get. So the fastest player in this pack goes straight into our team. Let's hope somehow I get an untradeable Vinny from this pack. But if I don't, let's hope we get at least one team of the season. So here we go. Come on, EA. We need something good. Pack look has not... Bruce. That is the slowest player in this game, probably. We don't have to take his card, obviously. There's going to be 24 other cards in this pack, so let's see what's behind there. I'm skipping to the end of the pack. We have a whole bunch of duplicates. No one over 90 pace. Okay, we have Davies. We got Diego Carlos, Tagliafico. We got Werner. Where's the rest of the players? I didn't get one special card in this entire pack. This has to be the worst 82 times 25 I've ever seen in my life. Davies is the fastest card in this pack, so he's going straight into our team. His gold card is so boring, though, so let's go buy his team of the season. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to link him with Kem, but 210k, 99 pace, get into my team, Davies. Now, when it comes to goalies, there's no pace stat, but there is a speed stat. And I know for a fact the goalie with the most speed in this entire game is team of the season, Allison, and he's going right into our team. As we don't have a midfielder in this, team yet i decided that the next player has to be the fastest midfield icon in the game so let's go on footpin and find out who that is players version icon moment position cdm cm cam and then pace now obviously i don't have the coins for pele or maradona so instead we're gonna go with kaka who really is more of a midfield player rather than pele and maradona so it works out perfectly for us and he has 93 pace boom Center backs are the next position I'm looking at. And unfortunately, I can't actually use the center back with the most pace in the game because he is like an objective or something. So the next best thing is St. Just and Lacroix. And they do have some chemistry, which is really cool. And 93 pace, that seems a little too OP. Boom, boom. Whenever I make these types of teams, I always want to make sure I have some type of chemistry. Now, that's when I remembered I've used Di Maria numbers up card. And because of how it worked out, his card got upgraded to 99 pace. And we're going to go buy his card. And luckily, he's only about 166k, which means we still have one mil to make the rest of this team. Get into my team. Now we got to go find out what the fastest right back in this game is. So back to Flippin we go. I won't lie. I got a little worried when I remembered Hakimi does have 99 pace on his team of the year card. But luckily enough for us, we do have Frimpong who also has 99 pace and he links to our center back. So this is a perfect match for us. And 40k? My accountant is loving this right now. Every coin matters right now. 45k? Why did I buy his right wing back version? It is what it is. Send him into the team. Boom. This team is still missing a CDM player. So let's go back to Fulpen and find out what the fastest CDM in the game is. So we can't use Tenali because he was an SBC. We can't use Conte because they're a little too expensive. And no one else really links to the players we have. So instead, what we're going to do, we're going to go buy Philip Long. I feel like another icon is perfect for this team. I think this is the most annoying card I've played against all year because every time I play against him, every pass to the middle would be intercepted. So my hope is he does just as well for my team. Boom. We're on to the last piece of this puzzle, and I thought long and hard, what's a better way to end this team than with the fastest bronze card in the entire game? And that man is Takashi69. I mean, Kanamori. The team is complete, and now it's time to go play that game. But remember, I can't use the sprint button. And I'm going into a weekend league game. I hope his team isn't too sweaty. I hope he isn't the greatest of players. Hey, you know what? I am perfectly okay with this team. I think this is doable, but hopefully I don't eat my words. That's a pass. Here we go. Th 
through the legs. Oh, I can't run after it. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I got to make sure he doesn't score on me because then it's going to be sour. No! No, okay. That's not a good start. We'll get it back. I got to score on like set pieces or something. Here we go. Kaka. Nope. Okay, well, I just got a red card. Thank you. Okay, it's just a yellow. If we got a red card there, I don't think we would have won this challenge. Yes. Cut inside. Shoot. Oh, what a save from Pickford. Oh, what a ball. 2 nothing. This is going poorly. But soon I was back in the game. Go, Vinny. Go, Vinny. Vinny. Yes. Let's go. What a goal. But then I did something really, really dumb. No. No. Why did I give it away to him? And things just kept getting worse. We'll take the red. We'll take the red. It's fine. It's fine. We have to. We have to take the red. 3-1 at half. We do have a red card for Davies. <laughs> it's not going as I planned, but I still believe. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm going to win this game. At the start of the half, something special started to happen. Yes! Let's go! 3-2! It's possible. It really is possible. And momentum was finally on my side. Yes! What a goal! What a pass from Kaka. That's that Kaka vision, as Casho says. It's 3-3. Oh, no. I'm worried now. I'm worried now. What a block. 71st minute. Can we hold on? I don't even know where to go. I can't sprint. But my luck slowly ran out. No! 81st minute. He scored. It shouldn't have happened. No. No! No, we've lost! I couldn't get the win, but I will get revenge with this team in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video right here.